In this site lies the remains of one of Nigeria's national heroes and the first prime minister, Sir Abubakar Tafa Waliwa. Beyond the architectural design are memories of the late prime minister, symbolizing his personal and national achievements. These two alternating staircases leading to his grave depicts challenges of colonialism and the joy of freedom from British colony. For the first time since his assassination on the 15th of January 1966, the state government is holding a public lecture and prayers in his honor. We're so flamboyantly uh, advertised all over. But Bauchi, unfortunately, have not uh, been able to do that. But Alhamdulillah, it has come to stay. Now we have started. Some of his personal effects are displayed in the stream, depicting a modest lifestyle which present-day leaders are advised to emulate. He died, uh, left office without having uh, mansions, without having fleet of cars. And uh, he was hardworking in the sense that um, he devoted his entire life uh, to the progress of Nigeria. And uh, he was a nationalist, a patriotic uh, citizen. This is indeed necessary now, at least for the leaders we have today. Let them see that even in death, you can still be emulated by people. His son shares life humble, lessons gained from his father. Uh, he taught us to be very humble. He taught us to be very amicable and acceptable to people. Marching in his honor on the streets of Bolchi Metropolis are college students. We march today in Honu or in remembrance of our legend, Sir Abubakar Tafa Balewa. Sir Tafa Balewa's oratory skills earned him the nickname the golden voice of Africa. The labor of heroes like him should not be in vain for the sake of peace and unity. Hajira Aliyu, Channels Television News.